cold almost two weeks after Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast. And it, it serves as, as a reminder that natural disasters, well, they can hit any time and any place. And in fact, now is still the time to prepare. So we're taking a look at power generator, generators, uh, something needed so often after disaster. As we said, Bob Markovich is here. He is the home and yard editor for Consumer Reports. And Bob, thank you so much for bringing three generators um, because it's crucial that people need to know about this stuff. You don't want to buy them when there's a storm coming too. I learned that myself. You like everyone does. It. Everyone's out, but you can't find them and all of the prices are marked up, I'm sure. Exactly. So this is really the time to think ahead, especially because we could be in for a tough winter and now's the time to go out and get a generator, get it professionally hooked up and be ready. And how did you test these and, and which ones did you bring by? Well, basically, we've got our top performer. This is the, uh, the Troy Belt here right for here. about $900. And it was really, really great at power delivery, met the wattage claims, and also was good at, the, at, at meeting the surge wattage, like with a refrigerator, anything with a motor, when it turns on and off and cycles, you've got a surge. And this met it perfectly. Also, smooth power. Smooth Seven, power. 7,000 watts. $900. $900. That's the beginning, though, because what you really want to do is get a transfer switch. That's about another five to 900 installed, but that lets you actually hook it, as you did, I know, right up to your home's electrical system. But some, a professional has to do that. Yeah, I didn't yes. do it myself. Yes, but at least you had it done, and at that point you're powering the house instead of running extension cords in But you do have to bring somebody in, a professional, to, to install that, and then you can decide what you want to power up and what you exactly. want to not like so you're not going to be doing laundry or something on your generator right. or maybe you are you can if you go for a, this this is seven if you go for a 10,000 watt generator yeah you can do it you can do an electric dryer an electric washer also in summer you can power a whole house air conditioner yes but with these five to seven thousand uh, watt units they power most things Bob this is the best buy right here best buy only six hundred seventy dollars for this generac and the generac performed really as well as this Troy belt the only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have electric start. That's the, the wonderful thing about this. Is what does that mean? You don't have to cord. You don't have to pull the cord. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing that these both have is low oil shut off. In other words, like an engine in your car, you know, it, it requires motor oil, and if that oil runs low, this shuts it off automatically. So you don't have to keep saying so it. And you don't burn it out. Well, you would not right. want to do that. You'd launch your engine, and that's the heart of this. Okay. Down at the end there, you got the Honda, and that one was really expensive, isn't it? Very, it's a, it's a pick. It performed well, but $2,500. And really, uh, this isn't giving you anything that these, uh, that the, that these don't give you uh, for twice the money. You're buying a Honda, though. You're buying a Honda, but I'll tell you what, Generac, uh, Troy built, these are well-built machines. So you're paying, you're buying a Honda, but you're paying $2,500. $2,500. Uh, I just want to ask quickly yeah. about gas, yes. because we only have a couple of seconds. There's been a gas shortage. These things run on gas. Exactly. What, what is this? This is just one of the manufacturers. It's stable. It's a stabilizer because gasoline can go bad and oxidize inside of a month or two. So if you add some of this to the fuel, it actually preserves it up to a year. Wow, there that's good. Bob Markovich, thanks so much. From Consumer Reports Magazine, always good to see you. Good to see you.